This is a model of DNA, a double strand of DNA. And when it's replicated, it's replicated semi-conservatively. So that means that these two strands are the parental strands, or the templates. And it gets split, and then they actually build up two new strands off of that, that are complementary. So, these are the base pairs, and you have guanine that pairs with cytosine, and adenine that pairs with thymine. And that, those are the only two combinations you can have. You can't have a yellow and a blue, because if you look at their shapes, they actually won't fit together. That's just how they work. So the reason that the nucleotides can only pair in these ways is because you have purines and pyrimidines. The purines are adenine and guanine, and they have two carbon rings. And the pyrimidines are cytosine and thymine, and they have a single carbon ring. When you bond them together, you'll take an adenine, which is the red piece, and that will pair with thymine, which is the yellow piece. So when we connect them, you're having one purine bond with one pyrimidine. And these two actually form, they would actually go this way. But that was just a mistake. So <laughs> when you have these two together, they have three hydrogen bonds between them. And when you bond the thymine and the guanine, they bond like this, and they have two hydrogen bonds between them. And that's how they pair together. So this is the double-stranded DNA after it's been split open by helicase. So the helicase comes in like this, and it creates a replication fork. So DNA is always built 5' prime to 3'. Prime. So here's the 5' prime end for this strand, and it goes 5' prime to 3'. Prime. Here's the 5' prime end here, and it goes 5' prime to 3'. Prime. So when you're building the complements, you have to build them the same type of way. So here, this is called the leading strand. And the leading strand is easy because right here is going 5 to 3. So the complement's going to go 5 to 3 like this. So what happens is DNA polymerase comes on and it attaches the pieces. It finds the matching nucleotide bases and it adds them on into a, a complementary strand just like this. And that is DNA polymerase. So this is what the leading strand looks like when you add most of the nucleotides on. The next strand, this is called the lagging strand, and it's a little bit more difficult because here we have it going 5' prime to 3' prime on the template, but the complementary strand has to go 5' prime to 3' prime like this. So, since the helicase hasn't finished unzipping the whole thing, it can't start over here because this isn't undone yet. So they're going to be built in fragments, which are called Okazaki fragments. So the DNA polymerase comes in and it starts attaching nucleotides on, just working its way outwards, it has to build 5 prime to 3 prime. And then what happens when it gets to the end, after the DNA helicase is going to keep unzipping this original template, so it's going to move out. The leading strand is just going to keep on building forward this way. The lagging strand is going to come out, and it's going to start here and work its way back towards this beginning. When you get here, we're not going to fill in the whole thing, but say I filled in all these and I got to here. This model shows that they're actually connected, but what really happens is there's a little bit of a gap. So DNA ligase will come in. It's going to repair this hole here. It's going to make it so that these fragments are all connected. So when you get to the end, you have these two different strands. So if you look, this one here and the outside one here were originally attached, but we split them through the replication fork, and we made the leading strand here, and Okazaki fragments going this way on the lagging strand. Real DNA is thousands of base pairs long, and these ones are only 22, so it would actually take a little bit longer than this took. But after you're done, then DNA replication is over, and it's called semi-conservative, remember, because we have these two, which were from the original, so you're conserving them, and then you're creating two new strands that are the complementary strands with new nucleotides added on.